Like, come on, man. you gotta understand. I'm 17. Y'all finna put me in jail for a charge. I'm not finna like. Then what if I what if I get convicted for charge? I'm not gonna see the light of day. And I'm never gonna see the light of day again. Like y'all, you wouldn't even trying to work with me. Like, don't do the crime if you're not ready right. to do the time. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if that young man did because we don't know if he's guilty right. or right. innocent. Right. All I know that is when the detectives call you and ask you to come down and talk. They know something. Yeah, they know something. They know something. They don't want to know what you know. Let me get this thing here lined up because I, I know, you know I want what? T. I don't want T looking at me. You know what I mean? The hush woman. He works my nerves, y'all. He really does. <laughs> she just really does. Ah, video number one, y'all. We got a 17-year-old that was asking the detective to work with him <laughs> while he was being accused for a crime. That's going to oh, be interesting. God. This is going to be interesting, man. Yeah, let's see this one. You know what I'm saying? We're being at that, man. Come on. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Like, come on, man. You got to understand. I'm 17. Y'all finna put me in jail for a charge. I'm not finna, like, then what if I, why if I get convicted for I'm not gonna see the light of day. I'm never gonna see the light of day again. Like y'all, you wouldn't even trying to work with me. Like work with you now. Like you already knew you was gonna put me in jail when you came in here. Like so. I mean, what what did you expect me to do, man? They made they made it seem like I was just gonna interview me and I was gonna go home. Like I said, you asked for an attorney. Come so on, at this, man. At this point in time. I don't want no. Come on, by, man. By right, come on, man. By, Please, man. Come on, man. By, by, Please. by law, I cannot, I cannot engage in the question to answer. Come on, session man. I'm only you. 17, man. Please. Man. Man. Come on. What, what, what are you asking me to do? Like, you can't, like, can I go home, man? Like, let me. Come on. That's, that's up to the courts. So I'm going down for today, bro. Well, yes. 17. 17 years old. 17. 17. Out there committing crimes. You know what I mean? Since we got a lot of flack from the last I was criminal <laughs> video that we had aired. But before I kick it off, man, all I want to say is this, man. Don't do the crime if you're not ready right. to do the time. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if that young man did because we don't know if he's guilty right. or right. innocent. Right. All I know that is when the detectives call you and ask you to come down and talk. They know yeah. something. Yeah, they know something. They know so they don't want to know what you know before they pin that charge on you. Merciless. But I'll pass it off, man. Who, who am I passing this to? Who, 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 lady of the hour. Lady. Hey. Yeah, there she go, yeah, goddamn. Miss Honey Tip T. So here, this is my thing. Yeah. Whether you're 17 or 27. Or 97. Hey, don't do illegal crap. You don't have to worry about going to jail. You don't have to worry about mm -hmm. not seeing the light of day no more. Mm -hmm. Look, it is what it is. Seventeen twenty-seven. If you did, if you if you unalive somebody, hey, it, it's wrong. And just just in general, it's just wrong. There's, there's no way around that. So I guess well, I guess he figured because he was dealing with an African American cop detective that he was going to hook. He was going to try up. to make him a deal or something. Nah, mm -mm, nope. They uh, must have had something on you, boy. Must well, have had something on you. Yeah. Well, normally they they always know something. They want to know what you know. You know what I mean? What you got to say, bro? They gave y'all the calm version. Here, I'm going to give y'all the real version. Okay. <laughs> give us a real. 17, 27, 42, whatever. At the end of the day, you in there trying to uh, negotiate like you trying to get your grade up from a D <laughs> to a C. We're yeah, talking about li life and death. Okay? <laughs> Wallow said it best. Shout out to Wallow. It is expensive to be a criminal. I've never been in an interrogation room. You know why? Because I ain't never had a reason to be interrogated. So at the end of the day, like they said, they probably know you was doing something. Mm -hmm. So for you to say, I thought I was coming down here for an interview, and you telling me I'm going to, yeah, they obviously got and enough. They have something on. They you. have to have probable cause to to arrest you. They can't just arrest you to arrest you. So again, and I'm not talking about. I know we got a lot of innocent people in them jails. Free those innocent people. But we got a lot of guilty people too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your guilty ass need to go to guilty jail. Now yeah. again, I don't know this young man's situation, but the way he was trying to negotiate, this is what I always say: if you're gonna be a criminal, at least learn the law. 
be, at least learn the a, law. Be, yeah, be a. <laughs> when you go in there, what they say, the first thing they say is, shut the hell up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's yeah. your name? M- lawyer. Right. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we picked you up. Where did lawyer. we pick you up? Lawyer. lawyer. Exactly. Well, you know what? What He should have He should have called his, well, I don't see. He might not have an attorney because. Or well, at they 17, say, but see, at 17, he's still a minor. He could have called his parents. He called his Oh, even if go, he yep. didn't, and even if he didn't, even if he didn't, even if he know he didn't know that. We've seen too, there's too many cop shows. There's too Law and Order been on for 46 years. Right. Okay. There's no way in the world he might not watch Law and Order, but I know his mom or his grandmama did. There's no way in the world he never seen a lawyer right. in the room. Again, that's why I say if you're going to be a criminal, learn the criminal. Way. Listen, I'm not learn saying nothing. I'm walking in here because again, in your Miranda rights, what do they say? If you do not have attorney, one, one can be, be appointed. Be appointed to for you. you. Okay, lawyer. Shut the hell up, lawyer. <laughs> yeah. It's that simple. <laughs> he needs he need to look at that television more. He, he over there. Listen, man, no, I'm just saying. What he need to be doing is in them books. If I get you three you donuts. Ooh. 17, ain't no TV. He need to be in them books and stop hanging with the wrong people. But at the end of the day, we like CJ said, we don't know what he did. He could be innocent. So at this point, based on what we just saw, them 12 jurors got to make that decision, that, that determination mm-hmm. on whether you guilty mm-hmm. or, or, you know, or innocent. So, sure. you know, if you did something, it's like, wait a minute, you, you're not going to sit here and negotiate with the cop now at this point. Like, if you did something wrong, you did something you're just wrong. wrong. Look, the, the cop was looking like, well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, said, bro, you came down here <laughs> unprepared, <laughs> so you know what's going to happen. He said to him, uh, I got to lock you up. He said, uh, <laughs> you're going to have to take that up with the court. Right. <laughs> it's past me now, bro. I'm, you here now? Thank you. I can't help you no more. Like, let's work. I got to Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like, hey, come like, like, well, you should never came down here. Uh, right. You should, hey, you should have been a real criminal and stayed on the run. I, mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, but listen, listen, I, listen. I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be harsh. That stayed on the run. Yeah, if you're a criminal, just take the whole criminal thing. Like, don't, don't be a criminal. And that's what I be saying. You can't be a criminal and be soft. Like all these dudes that be telling and all. Why? You knew you was going to tell as soon as, as the soon crime, you got down. As soon as the idea. Look, oh, listen. We're going to rob Miss Barbara down the street. You should have said, oh, hell no. Uh uh-uh, uh. Because if I get in there, I'm telling. Like, is that simple? Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Missing more. <laughs> what? DJ. What? <laughs> he got a message. Oh, daddy, you left me on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is what happens when you when you leave your when you leave your, your phone at home with your kids. See? Oh. Hold on. Yo, we gotta get some shout outs, man. My man El Plaga. Oh, in the building. <laughs> What's good, El? Ah. Yeah, I mean. Hey, oh, oh God. also we got CJ Kids in the oh, building. My son. <laughs> give it up for, Give it up for CJ's son. <laughs> don't make no damn sense. I'm out here trying to get this money. They bother me. Man can't even work. Let, peace. Letting daddy know that he left his phone at home. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, that's a responsible young man. Oh, that's what man. I'm talking about. Oh my god. You know, G oh, G would have been on Kiss YouTube. That's my younger son uh-huh. too. <laughs> Oh, man, let's go to the comments, man. So, first comment is from Biggest Merck. Big Merck says, bro, bro thought he was at the principal's office. Oh, right, <laughs> yes. right, right, yes. right. <laughs> bro, Come on, bro. He trying to make deals up in there. Listen, if I get you three donuts, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, can I get out by seven? Because I, I need to go home. Like, yeah, because you know, can I, I, I got some extra credit. Can I do that? Can I turn that listen, extra I credit? I swear I'm going to turn it in by the 13th. I swear. I know I was sick last week. Like, come on. Yeah, man. He up in A said, listen, listen, look, you know I'm going to start singing. Let me start singing right now so I can mm. go home. Mm. Um, so we got so comment number two from um, these. I'm glad he didn't finish Thank his uh, title. Thank you, Dees. Uh, never jump the fence unless you're willing to face what's on the other side. Exactly. Dexter Morgan. Completely true. Right. You know, completely Look, true. You do something, it's always it's consequences to everything in life. That's why it's like always just mm-hmm. try, to, try to live right. Try to, you know, do what's right. You don't have to worry about facing those consequences or going to nobody's jail. For sure. For because, sure. Uh, at that point, it's out of control, out of your control, out of your hands, and you got to do exactly what them CEOs in the states and the courts tell you to do. Yeah. 
So this comment number three from Original Imposter. Mr. Imposter says, bro didn't care about the dead person not seeing the light of day. No more yet. They got to bend the rules for this kid. And they didn't. Hmm. Yeah, that guy let him know, like, listen, there's nothing I can do. You already here. Yeah, because my thing is, is okay, let's just say the the it was vice versa. The shoe was on the other foot and he was the one that's unalive. And yeah. now his his family yep. is trying yep. to find out who did it to him. So it's like, you know, you can't you can't do that to people. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't that's what, listen, you can't do the if you can't if you're not ready to do the time, don't do the crime, man. Exactly. Yeah, I mean that was a crime. I don't care, you seventeen, seventy seven, whatever. And again, it's it's I'm not say I don't want to say rare, but if they got you down there, they know something. Yeah, they already know. They know something. So it's like, again, like if you're gonna be a criminal, be all the way, or don't be a criminal. Yeah, but see, at I guess all. my thing is, is by him being 17, how was they even uh, questioning him without a parent present? Because he came down there, they're not gonna miss that opportunity to question somebody. Listen, them cops were sitting back. They talking about, oh shit, he showed up. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> we got we got another one. Jerquavius is here? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. So who who what's his relation to Jer- Jerquavion? No, Turquavion. Turquavion. So Jerquavius. Oh, cousin. Lord. Cousin. Mercy. These ghetto names. Uh-uh, don't be saying ghetto. <laughs> they they culture.